Hey, bird. Bird. What you doing? <coughs> Sophie. Afternoon, everybody. Ahoy, hoy, it's us. It's us. Bird. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bird? In a minute. Sophie, what you got, bird? Oh, I see. Oh, she's not talking to me. She's talking to a wild. Hey, Manchester. Who's your friend, bird? Ready? On here. There you go. Yeah, she's talking to a wild. There's a wild over there in the tree up, up there behind us. There you go, work. I don't know whether you can hear the other wild, but yeah. He's... It could well be the same wild. It's quite possible it could be the same wild. Yeah, I can't see him anywhere, but, um... <coughs> Who's your friend, bird? What? There he is. Just landed on the um, bird bar. Yeah, we've got lots of long range magpie today. Hey bird. Who's your friend? I say who's your friend, I can see him. You know him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a camera to him though, because there's a there's a tree between us and us and him. Nice run off. That was nice. Hey. One of your wild chums. Cool. Like we start Sophie is now starting to look slightly less sleek as the um brother must know what, what to do with this young crow he's looked after because of swollen feet. Swollen feet. Um, well, I mean, first things first, you need to make, you need to get to a vet with him and, and see what's shaking, see what's shaking with his feet and see if the little bird can be, um, can be released or if you've made a forever friend. Um, very little, other than maybe males are slightly bigger, slightly physically bigger. There's nothing really to, um, there's... Magpies aren't sexually diamorphic in the, the the male and female magpies look identical. Ooh, look, see. Yeah, see she when it, she when she bent her head forward there, you could see a seam from like her head feathers to her neck feathers. Yeah, that's because she's molting now. 
Ja, bitte. Mm. Have a little malt bird. It's that time of year, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's a big one. Okay. Yeah, I think the molting has properly started now. There's a few little feathers dotted around. It is a little bit early, but I think it's coming early anyway because the crows have been molting for a while now. The crows have been molting for like a week, maybe 10 days. So, um, yeah, I'm seeing... I'm seeing quite a lot like pigeon feathers and that kind of thing dotted around the garden. So it's not just, can I help you? Um, <laughs> oh bless super heart, thank you. Um, and yeah, so there's quite a lot of feathers dotted around the garden. There's quite a lot of pigeon feathers and that kind of thing. So yeah, I think molting is, I think this year molting season for everybody is a little bit early. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you reckon, bird? You're still a bit... Are you with your tongue there, old girl? You might be getting more crunchy stuff. Um, no, she very rarely pecks. Sometimes she'll peck my glasses, but very rarely. Um, she pecks them if I wear my... Um, if I change my glass... I've, I've got, like, three pairs of glasses. I've got, like, two pairs of these, and I've got a pair where the, the, the frames are, are matte black rather than shiny black and if i accidentally come out with the with the matte black ones on she will peck them just because they're different she won't peck me actually in the eye but she'll peck the she'll peck the arms is that what they're called straight bits um she'll peck those she'll sort of like she's she's you know, something on my face has changed and she'll she'll want to know but she 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 never pecks me out of like macro or anything yeah there's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of punk punk birds floating around. Yeah, I went, I, I bought some spectacles online because I've got a really boring prescription. I, my prescription's like really super basic. So um, I can buy, I can buy spectacles online really cheap. Like these were like nine quid. And um, so like $12 or something like that, you know, so. Um, so I've got like two pairs of these. I've got a pair in the car. I've got a, I've got like a slightly, the, the, say the, the matte black ones on my desk upstairs, that kind of thing. So it's just, yeah. And, um, so yeah, I just bought like a job lot. I bought a pair of sunglasses and everything for like 40 bucks. <laughs> I never wear sunglasses. I feel super self-conscious wearing sunglasses for some reason. I don't know, like I'm trying to be cool or something. In spite of the fact that I am obviously not. <laughs> your big your big sheet of plexiglass should turn up soon, bird. That'd be a fun that'd be a fun Sunday afternoon thing. Unscrewing this big bit of roof and putting a putting a new one on. Because I deliberately didn't change this I mean this is needed this is needed changing for quite some time. But um I couldn't do it while she was nesting here because if I if I did it while she was sitting on a nest she would just freak out so I, I had to wait for nest fest to finish before I could change this bit of, this bit of perspex perspex or plexiglass perspex I think what ones are... oh no oh yeah that's bad <laughs> yeah that's not okay is it but yeah I always feel weirdly self-conscious in in sunglasses for some reason never never been able to work out why that is I know it's just like a weird a weird mental thing for me but it's such a thing that I just can't I can't get around it yeah I bet I bet that took ages to mail down the thing is as well it's like even, even if you do wear sunglasses you I, it seems weird wearing them indoors so I still have to wear I still have to take a normal pair of spectacles with me anyway so I think well sod it I might as well just wear my glasses what you got bird what's in there spiders yeah that's exactly the plan actually um oh yeah bad of 3d glasses oh god i remember those 3d glasses were awful weren't they yeah the the sheet i'm getting will cover this entire square so um yeah so well <clears throat> the sheet i've i've ordered if if i've measured this correctly will cover that entire thing so yeah so i can stand so i can stand in 
in Sophie's living room during like rainy precasts and not get um and not get the rain running down my neck. <laughs> oh what, those ones that gradually get darker. Yeah, a friend of mine had a pair of those and he said they were they were way more hassle than they're worth. They were like they got dark quite quickly, but they take ages to lighten back up, he said. And it was just like, oh that seems like a faff. And they are super expensive as well. <laughs> Bird, what well, has bird? Bird, what have you got? Stick. Stick. Bird, can I see? Can I see it? And you've also got a big cat tail on your on the bridge of your. There you go. You're welcome. Hey, hi there. <laughs> yeah, the, the sort of thing that if they went blip blip, that would be fine. But if they sort of like take, if for like a couple of minutes you're wandering around going, I can't see anything. <laughs> sort of thing for bird. Seems like a lot of work, I can't be bothered. Um, nye, nye, nye. What you got, bird? Yeah. And also, my, as I say, my prescription is so mild that, I mean, strictly speaking, I don't need to wear my glasses all the time. I only need to wear my glasses if I'm concerned about things that are off in the distance, sort of thing. Um, but I do wear them all the time because I just can't be bothered to keep taking them on and off. <laughs> Yeah, minute. What do you think? Ooh, what's one of these ones that you could see somehow see through like normal? Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you reckon, bird? Tried to rain a couple of times. Oh, come on. What do you think? Yeah, you can see that she's got a. Um... Oh, yeah, those. Yeah, I know what you mean. I could, I could put a pair of those in like the glove compartment of the car or something. It'd be cool. Well, not be cool, but be sorted for it. Well, some of my dad used to have those, those clippy flip down ones on his glasses. <laughs> very, very cool, Mr. Bowd. <laughs> well, see those really big ones you see like, you see like pensioners on golf, golf courses wearing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, I can't, I can't watch shows like that. I must admit, I can't watch the, um, I, I, I can't. Okay, that seems good. Oh no. Yeah, I think if I was like commuting miles, I would probably still have a pair of like. I, mean, I do have a pair of prescription sunglasses, but I would, I would have taken better care of them because I mean, if you ask me where they are now, I wouldn't be able to tell you something. Good stick there, bird. You show the class. <laughs> I want to punch you in the face with it. Yeah, say that's. Yeah. Yeah, bird, 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 bird. Sticks don't go in there, bird. That's a that's a human face. Believe it or not. <laughs> so yeah, as I was, as I was saying. You can see, you can see when Sophie bends bends forward. You can see like a. Are you trying to blind me? <laughs> I want it. I want it. I have it now. You can have it. Okay. Yeah. So when she bends forward, she. There's a scene there where like her head feathers, which normally blend into her neck feathers quite happily, um, you can see that there's a gap there now where she's where her her feathers have been in. <laughs> leave your leave your leave go go outside? No. I don't. <laughs> Although in fairness, I I had to go to my office yesterday and it was super weird. It's super weird wearing shoes again. That's weird. 
driving a car that's weird being inside a, being inside like an air-conditioned building weird all sorts of all sorts of weird things there we go did you miss me yeah miss me yeah finally agoraphobia comes in actually has a use doesn't it like it's it's so it's so relieving half not having to not having to make up excuses why you can't go for drinks after work and that kind of thing it's just oh we're going out tonight you in <laughs> oh bless thank you <laughs> okay we blorping maybe a little bit no, I don't think the um, I don't think the vaccine's going to happen this this side of Christmas. Definitely not. I mean, vaccines take ages. Yeah, I mean, I I have seen that there have been human trials for like a couple of vaccine, um, a couple of proposed vaccines, but even then, it takes absolutely ages to cook up vaccines for everybody. I mean, my office is saying that the um, they don't expect they don't expect anyone like full time in the actual office in the office building this year. You know, I'm I'm working from home until next year. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, Christmas is going to be weird. Christmas is going to be strange. I mean, the next weird thing is my birthday, but um, that's always weird, right? Um, it's my birthday in a few weeks' time, and it's just uh, they're sort of like, oh, what should we do for your birthday? It's like, we'll stay inside and watch YouTube. <laughs> um, sort of conversations. What do we think? I put my Christmas tree away yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a Christmas tree anymore because we have a bunch of excitable idiot cats. Um, we didn't bother with a Christmas tree because tea would just tea would just absolutely kill it. Hey, birthday buddies, Ace. <laughs> Oh, that wild's back. Yeah, there are a few things you can do when you've got when you've got cats. Like I was gonna make a, I was gonna have a model railway in my computer room, sort of thing. Until I realised that there would be a day when I would come home and at least one of my cats would be fully Godzillaing the the little town that I had spent ages building. So I stopped. Birthday's on Precast Day! Ace! I think mine's on a Friday this year. It's the 17th, my birthday. I think that's a Friday. Yeah, it's like not not this Friday, but then Friday after or something. Oh, bless! Hey, there you go! <laughs> you are getting more crunchy things, bird. Hmm? What do you think? Look at this. 18th, cool, there you go. 18th, 17th. Precast birthdays. Cool. Frederick <laughs> Cotton shouted at him. <laughs> yeah. Cats riding on Roombas. Always, yeah, you can't beat it, can you? What do we think? You scratch up your beak a bit though. It's all this scratching on your beak. Get that beak polished. <laughs> yep. Internet bird party. Bird. I love a brie. It's great, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can see like there, you can see a, like the little patch under her crop thinning as well. I don't think she's been fighting. I certainly haven't heard any fighting. It's just more that she's shoving her beak. I'll tell you how she does it. Like this look. By... 
Oh no, hang on, now we've got a zoop on. Now we've got zoops. She, yeah, she, she jabs her beak into like great big piles of stuff where she thinks there are spiders. And scratches her beak up. Because she's a big silly. Hmm? Okay, okay, come on buddy. <laughs> Bring! <laughs> I used to work with a bloke that had that that had the Metal Gear Solid I spotted you noise as his incoming text message alert. And um even though I'm I haven't played a lot of Metal Gear Solid, that noise just goes right through you. That that like exclamation mark over the head alert noise. And in the end someone had to say, look, you need to change your you need to change the tone on your phone because it's killing us. Yeah, it was. It was stressful. It was like, oh, no, I'm going to... Oh, wait, hang on. I'm not actually... I don't have to hide. Metal Gear Solid has some really good sound design. Yeah, the whole series had some really cool, like, informative sound sound design. Underrated skill sound design in video games. It's like I used to play a, well, I still do occasionally, play a game, I don't, many people know it, um, Nights Into Dreams, it's a Sega game, it's a Sonic Team game, and, uh, and its soundtrack went in and out of key based on how well you were doing in the game, so you got, like, instant feedback from your, um, you, you got instant feedback about how, how you were doing in the game by how tonally right the soundtrack was. And it was r really informative. It was super informative. You'd, you'd make a decision and the music would become slightly more harmonious. And you'd be like, yes, yes, made the right choice there. It was like this mass... It was like, if someone told you the game was specifically designed to, like, induce massive ser uh, serotonin release, you'd be like, yeah, that fits. That 100% makes sense to me. And it's a really comfy video game sort of thing because of it. It's... Wicked, really cool. I was amazed how um, inclusive Overwatch is. Like you go through the accessibility menu inside Overwatch, it is super, super friendly to like um, partially sighted people with hearing problems, uh, color blindness issues, that kind of thing. It's really. Hey, okay, boom. Okay, look. It's windy. And your zoops aren't helping. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Really thoughtful. It's a really thoughtful thing. There's, there's a whole bunch of like, it doesn't take much to code in, like stop using blues and greens informationally, that kind of thing. Yeah, 100%. Right, come on, bird. Let's do the lolly stick thing. You ready? You gonna stand still for a minute? No, of course you're not. I mean, of course you're not going to stand. That's how she scratches her beak up. Idiot. Right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, if you've just stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. Or if you prefer, you can Google Sophie the Magpie. Thanks for coming, gang. And we'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.